Well, this show is going to be an exercise, a bit of an experiment, if you will. Uh, I don't think, I think this is the fullest this basement ever has been and may ever will be. So we need to make sure that we're doing everything to keep each other safe. Really, really fucking important. Yeah. If you see somebody who looks like they're in trouble, you know, try to help them if you can. Get somebody, you know, I think you guys all know me and Allie by this point. Get one of us if you're unsure. Um, mosh respectfully, obviously, when we mosh. Um, be mindful of, of little folks. There are a few here today. I don't know how long all of them are staying. I know mine is leaving in a couple hours, but... Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, at, uh, during the break, uh, I want to do a big group photo, a big group Hell's Disco photo. Um, I want to do one with everybody in it, but I also want to specifically do one with Hell's Disco shirts in it. If you want to like make your own Hell's Disco shirt, you still potentially could. Just go get like a fucking cheap shirt and write on it with Sharpie. We also still have them for sale if you want to buy one. Allie has them next to her in the seat, so if you want to pick one up, you can. Some sizes are starting to run a little low though, so if that's on your agenda, go f you know sooner than later. Uh, otherwise, that's all I'm going to say for now, so I'm going to pass it over to Johnny Desad to kick off the evening. Uh, okay, let's get this piss fest started right.
way they deliver my meal right to my front door. But is this an act of mercy or are they just checking if I'm gone? Cause I can't afford the rent. While these bottles and these cigarettes just pass in the time that I got left. Cause I know I can't afford what comes next. Tanner was nice enough to let me play back when I first started doing Dungeons and stuff. I still played electric guitar back then. You guys are really dumb. Thank you. But you did that because you knew we love it. Yeah, well, I put a tech deck in my pocket for a reason. Anyway. Tell that story one more time when I swear I'm gonna die. Hit my feet and chug a beer. Why I need something better? I need something else. So don't tell me what we did back then. Tell me what we're gonna do tomorrow. Cause I've got half a tank of gas and 30 bucks in my pocket. And we can go as far as we want. We can leave for the weekend and never come back. And eat with our fingers, sleep in the back seat. It'll be Warm enough if you're there with me. Yeah. And I know that you would die here in our happy home where it's safe and it's warm. And it's so, so, so fucking boring. I think we had the body said that not changing it. Since the day that we moved in So I'll wait for you to fall asleep Watch Netflix on my phone To plot our escape And I hope you come along So don't tell me what we did back then Tell me what we're gonna do tomorrow Cause I've got half a tank of gas And thirty bucks in my pocket we can go. <laughs> it's sweatier down here now. <laughs> can like two thirds of you leave? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not used to this level of like attention. See ya. <laughs> we'll all just blow on you. Yeah, that's... Uh, okay, so like, COVID isn't as bad as it used to be, that still seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> Everybody just breathe really heavily on me. Anyway, um, this song's about how in... Just stay to one side so you can get up and down on a hand. Yeah. Um, so sometimes people write songs about their partners and then that relationship goes away, but that song is kind of a banger, so then they have to... <laughs> Yeah, maybe you guys can relate, relate, right? So that's kind of what this song's about. Not actually that exact concept, but about that concept. Because everything has to be cloaked in three layers of... Forty chests! Yeah, exactly. You know what's up. All right. Hey, Johnny, Mom's here! Bye, Mom! I'm Facebook friends with Ben's Mom! Thanks, Mom. Hi. So, that's my mom. She comes to many of my shows, and um, I, I typically like. The, it was pretty sweet for a while, and it still is really sweet that she comes. But like now, she'll be like, "You going to that show on Sunday?" And I'm not invited. <laughs> <laughs> she, she 
she's got like she's got the hookups. So anyway. So I could write a love song if I could fall in love, but that part of me is broken, so I just gave it up and I'll leave it to kids who still have stars in their eyes, writing songs about their girlfriends for the very first time. And blah blah blah. Whoa, 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 no one cares about your girlfriend. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, 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 no one cares about Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 We need to establish something right now. If any of you sing lyrics that I don't, it's because you know it better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I could write another identical song, and I could blame my ex-girlfriends for everything that went wrong. And just like Taylor Swift, you believe me. That it's my fault too, and I don't have the heart to lie to you. So I think I'll just shut my mouth and shake it off. No one cares about your girlfriend. Blah blah blah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one cares. And he's another white kid with a guitar. Like it needs another racist asshole. So I'll spit these words like poison out into a world that's already suffering. So anyone even gives a shit what I think. Are you ready one more time? Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one cares about your girlfriend. Blah, blah, blah. Stop being hot. That's true. Y'all stop being hot. Thanks, Dirk. Gotcha, talk. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I feel like this basement's full of piss. So, you know, <laughs> what, a, what, a fucking, what a fucking pissy basement. Isn't this the, isn't this the worst venue that's ever packed in 300 people? <laughs> the best. I have been in Yeah! That's Put that on the Facebook group for this for this page. Right now. 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 That kid just uh, told your dad to go get a bracelet so he could pay to get in. <laughs> you have raised, you have raised the youth correctly. Tanner knows what's up. Ha! Anyway. <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, I wrote this song a long time ago. It's one of the songs that dates back to those first shows that I was really bad at. But it's one of the songs that Tanner believed in and that I still believe in and it's about places like this. About basements. Let's play that song. Maybe you might know some of the lyrics. If you, if you do... Shut the fuck up. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please sing. It helps me so much. Anyway. When I was young, I was dumb. Everyone told me I'd have to get a job But I'm still doing my very best to prove those people wrong It's not always that easy Cause this fire when my heart won't keep me warm at night When it's the So I'll take the check and close my eyes and think back to the better times When I felt like someone with the pig slides and power cords 
Kitty bags, two minute songs, clothes as fast as she fits beer. These are our best years. Hit slides and power cords, shitty bands, two minute songs. These are our best years. And they make pills for people who are this angry. Maybe I should try them, pop a few, just like me. That would require insurance and a doctor. So until the day that those are free, there's only one fucking cure for me. Dirty basement full of pissed off kids who won't judge me. For being what I am, when what I am is angry and hungry and lonely and nervous. But not tonight. I'm feeling great. The pig slides and power cords, shitty bands, two minute songs, the closest friends and the cheapest beers. These are our best years. The pig slides and power cords, shitty bands, two minute songs. These are our best years. And every band that I love quit the scene years ago, but the songs just aren't important, we just need somewhere to go, where the people won't hate us for being unhappy, so turn up the volume and make sure the world knows, we call the windows and get the cops called again, just the symptoms of our generation's cancer, these songs are the radiation. We're gonna pay for it later, but tonight this is the only thing that can make us feel better about who we are. Are the pig slides and power cords, shitty bands, two minute songs, the closest friends to the cheapest fears. These are our best years. <laughs> Songs for you. Woo, woo. Yeah. Prove it. Shit, <laughs> shit alright. Oh, what? You wanna? Oh, okay. Yeah. I almost forgot. How dare you? So, okay, not too long ago. How many of you know who Tom Pease is? Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a local legend, right? Tom Pease. Over there. Oh, gee. Well, Tom Pease was supposed to play at the school forest, and he got, he got, he became ill. And so, with like an hour's notice, uh, the folk punk community of Stevens Point picked up the, the torch and tried to replace Tom Pease so that the kids could at least have somebody with a guitar saying something. <laughs> and then we're sitting, we're sitting in Jameson's parents' little uh, out, out in front of their yard, uh, next to the the, the, the aviary. The aviary, that's what the word is. And I'm like, damn, I don't have any songs that don't have swears in them. None. None! And I was like, this is terrible. What are we going to do? I don't know what kids like. And so I was just like, let's write songs as quick as we possibly can. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So this song came from that. It's about wanting to be a hot dog. <laughs> song of the people. <laughs> it's a little rough, but I'm being bullied into playing it, so I might as well. I hate this, but I also love it. <laughs> And roll around in that little machine. <laughs> you know the machine that I mean, the one they've got a quick trip. It rolls around the hot dogs, as previously mentioned. Do they ever clean the hot dog machine? No. I'm pretty sure they don't. I don't even know how you would wash that off. The tongues are attached with a string. I don't think you could take those off and wash them. Perhaps you should just worry about something else and not eat a hot dog. No. I wanna be a hot dog. And roll around in that little machine. You guys are really good. The machine, you know the one. The one they got it quick trip. I don't think that was the word though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're good. <laughs> Mosh respectfully. You should 
much respectfully to this next song, and if you bump into me, I'll give you extra bonus points. Oh, oh, oh okay. But I'm not going to stop playing. I've been beating with sticks while playing this song. I've been beating with pool noodles. It's too high. you got to do it up there. Anyway, I wrote a punk song when I was 13. I don't even know what punk was back then. But I picked up my guitar and I wrote the toughest song that I could think of. It goes a little something like this. You guys ready? Anybody who doesn't want to be here, you can leave it. Mosh pit. 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 Featuring Kevin Smith, where Brandon Long gets turned into a walrus. Woo! Woo! It's such a horny movie. It's so fucking horny. <laughs> 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 that guy, that guy, that's perfect timing. That was great. That was great. All I'm thinking about it for the rest of my life. Don't worry. Uh, but Friday. Oh, cool. Tusk is a 1998 sexual thriller <laughs> about how Brandon Long gets turned into a walrus and an ancient guy from Europe decides that he really wants to fuck a walrus. <laughs> and that walrus should be Brandon Long, even though he's not a, wa a per walrus, he's a person. And the problem with this whole thing is he's like, damn, I've got money. What if I put extensive cosmetic surgery on a Brandon Long and made him into a, the walrus that I miss? From when I was in the army, because in Don't Ask, Don't Tell. This is a wild <laughs> <That's laughs> movie. The reason I never play this song is because it doesn't have a second part. That's it. It's just the synopsis. <laughs> it's the IMDb for for, uh, for Tusk. But um, I think we can, I think we can come up with a little chorus together. Right? What's the IMDb? You guys are really good. So we'll do it. <laughs> you shouldn't sleep with people who don't want to sleep with you. <laughs> You shouldn't turn them into walruses either <laughs> Because it even gets more confusing Because consent is really hard when you're a walrus <laughs> So don't have sex with people that don't want you <laughs> Alright, <laughs> being in a basement.
Turns out the only thing this vest was battling was my own insecurities. And if I look just like everyone else, you won't have to think about me. Ooh, I can be a cartoon caricature of the things I think are cool. Just a remix of the offensive shit and tray put on my TV. Or am I too old to be punk? Anymore, anymore, when does this stop being cool? Just an excuse to be drunk. When do I have to get a job and give back all the stuff I stole? Cause I thought it'd make me cooler, but it doesn't work like that. And are we even punk? If we got our start with Tony Hawk, are we even punk? If our sub counts under a hundred, are we even punk? If I've ever been to New York or California, are we even punk? Like that was something to aspire to, cause what's the point in being punk if you all look and act the same? What's the point in counterculture when counter and culture are equally lame?